Hello and welcome to Indian News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The written examination of HSC and SSC conducted by the MSB HSE will be held between April 23rd and May 21st this year. An official said on Saturday, while the IR Secondary Certificate exam will be conducted between April 23rd and May 21st, the Secondary School Certificate exam will be held between April 29th and May 20th. Ashok Bose, the Secretary of the Maharashtra State Board of Secondary and IR Secondary Education, said. These board exams are usually held in February and March, but this year their schedule has been changed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We had announced the proposed dates of the examination on February 2016 and invited suggestions from the stakeholders. After due consultation with them, we have fixed this final schedule of the exams. Postal said the schedule is available on the site of www.maharashtraboard.in. The city of Nagpur has a glorious history and a tradition. The city of Nagpur is now moving forward in all respects and is shining on the world map. Nagpur Municipal Corporation has over the year played an important role in the development of Nagpur city. The city of Nagpur is very proud of the NMC leadership and the corporation has also on many occasions rendered assistance to the state and country, said Mayor Dayashan Kathiwari. Mel Dashan Kativari addressed the assembled dignitaries on the occasion of 17th Foundation Day of Nagpur Municipal Corporation. Initially generated the first mayor of the city barrister Sheshravan Kedebai, initially greeted the first mayor of the city barrister Sheshravan Kedebai offering flowers on a statue in the NMC headquarters. He also laid a writ at the statue of Dr. Punjab Rao Deshmukh. Deputy Mayor Manisha Dawade, Standing Committee Chairperson Vijay Jalki and others were present on the occasion. The Nag River Pollution Abatement Project has been approved by the government at an estimated cost of Rs. 2,117.54 crores. The Nag River, which flows through Nagpur city, thus giving its name to the city, has now become a highly polluted water channel of sewage and industrial waste. The announcement was made by the Union Minister of Road Transport Highway and MSMEs, Sri Nitin Gadkari, after chairing a meeting of World Bank officials, DG NMCG and the Nagpur Municipal Corporations Commissioner on Tuesday in his office. The project approved under the National River Conservation Plan will be implemented by the officials of the National River Conservation Directors NRCD. It will reduce the level of pollution in the Nag River in terms of untreated sewage flowing solid waste and other various sports. It will reduce the level of pollution in the Nag River in terms of untreated sewage flowing solid waste and other various sorts of impurities flowing into the Nag River as well as its tributary rivers. For the past one year, people have been going through toughest economic crisis owing to COVID-19. In a similar incident annoyed to constant falls and insurance over pending dues, the operator of a well-known advertising agency of the city has won uh, MLA to pay for the advertisement he had put soon. Otherwise, he would commit suicide along with his mother and father. And the only person to be held responsible would be the MLA. The director of the advertisement agency has sent a message to the BJP MLA Mohan Mate of the city that at his best, he had put an advertisement on the occasion of the late Gopinath Monday's birthday, that is on 12th December. Emirates birthday 28 December and Union Minister Gadkari's birthday on 27th May. While the victim has been getting advertisement for 9 years, MLA made owes the agency Rs. 988,000. 995 new corona positive cases have been reported in the last 25 hours in Nagpur district. With the 10 deaths occurring on Tuesday, the death toll due to coronavirus pandemic has reached to 4,351. The dead includes five city patients, two rural areas and three patients from outside Nagpur district. The number of cured patients have reached to 1,38,465. Most of these patients have recovered during home isolation. 579 patients have recovered from COVID-19 on Tuesday. The district's recovery rate has reached to 91.30%. Among positive patients, 86 cases have been reported from AMC 171, from GMC 176, from IGGMC 66, from NIRI 45, from University 404, from 404 from private laboratories and 47 from antigen testing laboratories. 
the district administration has called upon citizens to help the administration in controlling the pandemic by adhering to preventing measures such as wearing masks and maintaining social distancing. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnakar says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself. Keep watching NBC News. Sach dikhaye, bina chupaye.